and welcome to Pitch and Dave News. My name is Tato Skona and today uh, we are with Dr. Fanzail. We are bringing to you a new series talking about the health features of, of pigeons. Um, Dr. Fanzail will be sharing with us throughout the, uh, the season of, of a health talk with him about uh, the different kinds of diseases, um, food and medication and how you can equip yourself in preparing your pigeons to be healthy and to perform at their highest level. Stay tuned and don't miss any of these episodes. Good morning. My name is Piet van Seil. I'm a veterinarian practicing in Albron in a free state. I've been involved with raising pigeons since the age of 12 years old and uh, I'm still involved on different levels with the sport. I consult normal pigeon fanciers as well as most of the one lofts in the country. The topic for today will be trichomonas or canker, uh, commonly known as the number one disease uh, with all racing enthusiasts. Canker or trichomonas is a protozoal disease. Pigeons infect each other by direct contact, parents feeding the small uh, or when pigeons feed each other before mating. But the most important route of infection is in the drinking water. So if an infected pigeon puts his mouth into a water trough, some of the organisms will swim out and another bird will get infected. In practice, that means that we are infecting our birds on a weekly basis in the racing baskets, if we're not careful. And then that bird brings the infection back to your loft and infects other birds. It puts us in this difficult situation. Either we must prevent that or we must treat pigeons basically at least once every four weeks. Some uh, fanciers go as far as treating pigeons weekly uh, against the disease. Trichomonas or canker definitely infects, affects your racing performance. We've done multiple tests where infected pigeons are 10 minutes slower than pigeons that's not infected. So it's absolutely necessary to keep your birds free from trichomonas. Unfortunately, like with all diseases, the trichomonas is building up resistance against most antibiotics. What we do with our products, we evaluate them on a yearly basis and then we make the necessary adjustments to uh, keep them effective. The, the group of medicines that we are using unfortunately are all related. It's called the 5 nitroamidazole group. Whether you use one or the other, they are more or less chemically similar. So, a problem that we overcame by adding different groups of medicines to it and we've had tremendous results by adding a natural essential oil from plants to it. It makes the canker most definitely more susceptible to the antibiotic part of it. And then we can use less of the uh, active ingredient to get the same result. Last year, we had to formulate a totally new one. What we want to do is get away from blanket treatment of all the pigeons in the loft. Because if you only pick up the infection in the uh, basket and you can only treat the birds that's returned from the race, you will keep the infection out of your loft if you do that on a weekly basis. Treat the birds Sunday after return and to all latecomers, treat them individually. So how do we treat birds individually? We've got the option of tablets. 
Personally, I'm not a fan of tablets in pigeons because the tablet usually is made of calcium sulfate as the base and that sticks to the mucous membrane of the pigeon. So you over treat one area of the crop and mostly you burn it and the rest is the dosage is too low. I will quickly show you what I think is a new system and what I, we were getting good results with. This is our old product. It's a powder that you put on top of the food and the pigeons eat it. Personally, I don't like drinking water medications because in the drinking water, if it's cold, they drink half and if it's hot, they drink double dosage. And all pigeon fanciers know that we've had uh, intoxication of pigeons with the active ingredient in hot weather because the pigeons just drink too much water. That's why we prefer to put it on the food. You measure it out for 100 pigeons, 20 grams on the food for two days. They still eat their food, but they don't always drink the same amount of water. Problem with this is you've got to treat all the birds when you treat it on the food. If you just want to do individual treatments and stick to the exact correct dosage. We've developed this new product this is a gel. It sticks to the crop membrane, so it can't vomit it out. It don't vomit from it, we've tested it, but even if the bird vomits, it won't vomit it out. And unlike a tablet, it won't stick to the membrane and burn it there where it sits. How do you apply that? You can use a normal syringe, but we've developed this uh, system. It's a normal sheep dosing gun with a tube and you can set the dosage there and then you've got a tube in here with a product in there and you just push this down the throat with a soft tube push it down the throat of the bird and individually dose every bird it takes 20 minutes to do 100 birds easily and uh, now you know every bird's got exactly the right dosage in it and uh, we've tested it it was individually tested, it was independently tested, it cures the infection. Okay, the individual dosing with the dosing gun in pigeons is as easy as that. You put the tube or any plastic syringe on top of the gun and then you take your bird, uh, you keep it like that and you set the dosage you want to give on there, if you can put one ball, it's a normal dose. So open the pigeon's mouth and without harming the bird, you just do that. And the bird is dosed. And you know the bird's got exactly the right dose in it. Canker treat, uh, the canker uh, protozoa, we've just found out. If a bird is infected with canker, that bird is more susceptible to virus infections. There's a direct link between viral infections in young birds and infection with trichomonas. And it's been uh, proven in humans as well. If humans are infected with this, they are more susceptible to virus infections. I uh, don't want to go into the human disease, but uh, young birds infected with canker or trichomonas will get young bird disease more easily than birds that's not infected. So we propagate that you treat your young birds three weeks after weaning. Blanket treatment for canker to make sure they are clean. Otherwise you will get virus infections and they're not treatable in most instances. The birds will be damaged. So uh, the preventative treatment at an early age is very, very important for this uh, disease. Canker protozoa, or let's call them germs, continuously mutate. Uh, if you infect birds with it 
within a year you will have a, a new strain or a new type of strain or a resistant strain. It's not a new strain, it's more a resistant strain. And especially where you use single pharmaceutical products with only one active ingredient in it. We've got three active ingredients in our products to prevent resistance. We call it a resistant preventative medication so that we don't create resistance and then we want to discover new products uh, one after the other. It's not sustainable. A lot of fanciers have actually killed their birds with over-treatment of canker because the difference between our product and most other products in the market is this product is not getting absorbed into the system of the pigeon. It treats the mucous membranes and that's where the problem is. Canker problem is not the internal problem in the liver and the brain and there. So we don't want the medication there. We want the medication in the crop on the mucous membranes because that's where the infection will lie. So this can't get absorbed. It, it, it creates an inbuilt safety system. And we've tested that this repeatedly on basket day. There's no negative effect even if you give it just before basketing a pigeon. Some of the newest strains of trichomonas is much more pathogenic than the old ones. Basically, trichomonas or canker started off as a very mild type of infection. In fact, some of the older races will tell you all birds are infected and they should be infected. The newer strains are more aggressive. They damage the mucous membranes and they open it up to infections for all other things. So, in my opinion, the basics is your birds must be free of canker, otherwise you won't race. And we found in the last two years where youngsters in the nests are infected, infected by the parents and they die in the nest before you win from canker. So, it's very important to treat your breeding birds after they've laid their eggs and before the eggs hatch. Clean them for canker there, then you won't have any problems with it. I think it's one of the diseases that we're going to hear a lot more in future because the antibiotics, we're running out of it there's not a lot of new effective ones come. So we'll have to do different things, like we add essential oils to make it more effective and prevent things. But to just think there's, there's gonna be a, a new one next year, next year, next year, it's not gonna happen. We'll have to use the molecules that we've got more effectively. The products that we create, we market under the brand name Breakaway Products. They are obtainable from most pigeon outlets, the bigger pet shops and some individual marketers. And Davenis Pigeon News will also carry the contact details we can obtain the products from. Otherwise, you can just phone the breakaway office and they will give you the name and address of your closest uh, distributor. Uh, Thank you.